document, well, the old document. Um, the old one has eight, common community division has ten, and they're not all the same. There's a few extras in there, and I think the thing to do is I to go down the list and see if you want to keep the topic. I like to think of goals as goal topics because there's things that go under each goal statement. And so really they become a topic unto themselves, and that's maybe how they're listed here. Now, are you referring to the goal statements on page? I'm looking at page 9 of the workbook. Yeah, those are the 8 and the comprehensive Correct. plan. Correct, those are the yes. ones from the plan from 10 years ago. Right. And then if you compare that list of 8 with the list of 10 in the common community vision. Which page is that on? Page 16. Page 16, okay. And by that, I'm looking at the mission statement. There's okay. 10 separate okay. mission statements which seem to follow the topic order kind of thing. There's some interesting differences. Uh, for example, number one, goal one in the old comp plan is population. As a topic, that is missing from the common community vision list. And I think the question bodes itself, do we still want to have a population topic for right. goal statements? Right. I mean, and yeah. And it's kind of generalized the way it's worded, but if I think, you know, I'd have to pull out the old comp plan and full document, but I think there's some stuff under there that are worth keeping in terms of just general population things that really don't fit anywhere else. Right. So what, it might be a good idea to keep it. Yeah, what, what other communities um, that have updated their comprehensive plan from, you know, 10 years ago have done is um, they have actually done away with the specific population goal but have put that goal statement and all the policies and issues and opportunities that were under that, put them under land use. You know, or some of them went under economic development or some of them went under housing, depending on, on what it was. But yeah, I mean, that's certainly an option if you don't want to keep a population goal and a population uh, part of the comprehensive plan you can certainly take that and, uh, and move it under other other elements of the plan, which would then put more coincide with your community vision that you developed a few years ago. And I think Matt's, Matt's point is saying, look, we have these old goals, which, don't get me wrong, served us well, but we have some research that was done that went out into the community in a broader sense, which was very helpful, and so, the goals that we have in our plan right now, for example, we don't list in page nine under our current draft. We don't have a goal for education. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have a goal for transportation or technology or you know animal welfare. Those are things that I think this community values, and I think we should have an overarching topic that would address that somehow. So we take these two together, and I know Matt and I are willing to get together with you and Ariel and figure out what is this next draft look like if we truly marry these two. But certainly, I think that's the focus, is making sure that the goals capture a, an accurate picture of the community. Right. You know, because right now, they're, you know, they do for a large majority, but you don't have a goal for education. I know we're not the school board, but certainly we should be trying to represent the direction they're going in because that's a huge important part of this community. Right. And a lot of community have added an education goal from, well, from yeah. their last document right. also. And two years ago when we went through this common community vision process with multiple public hearings, education was always lifted in a major topic. Right. And mm -hmm. at that point, before we got into the details of how we were going to come and update Jason on the call, we had a separate education element added. That wasn't on the minimum list from the ECA, but right. being two school boards and Regional University and other schools here just seem like a very important thing. Right. So I would want to include that as a general right. category. As a member of the Dallas City School Board, I too would like to see you. <laughs> <laughs> because we we are quite blessed to have um, to have good choices in this in this community for K through 12 all over the all over the uh, the county as well as we've got um, three, um, three institutions of higher education. And I, hopefully I'm not missing any, but I mean with, with VSU <coughs> and Wiregrass and Georgia Military, uh, 
those are community attributes that we cannot forget about right. and need to foster all those relationships. Yeah, and we can we can certainly take the goal that was in the community vision and insert that right in here, um, or a modified version of it, you know, um, and insert that. I, I think that's a very good. So what's, what's the overall consensus on the population goal? Uh, what, what does a population goal mean? I mean, what, what does it mean to have a goal about population? That we want to make our population get bigger, get smaller, stay the same? To me, Julia, the, the historic background of population was, I think a lot of it was about how we grow and where are we growing or certain segments of our population growing faster or slower than others, like we're attracting more retirees. And I think some of what the work that they've done recently in other communities has been some of those goals will attract the retirees. That probably should go under economic development right. or, you know, ensuring that your community is growing and the development is reflective of a very attractive, you know, rural aesthetic or a downtown aesthetic. That's probably more land use. And so I kind of agree with Julia and Ariel that maybe population actually could be split out into other areas on where you want to go, meaning economic development, land use, rather than having this generic population goal that says, well, your retirees are growing. Well, that's great, mm -hmm. but that's not really a goal. It's more of a fact. Right. What are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. you, know, um, you have an Air Force base that is thriving, and their population is growing. Well, that's great. That's a great fact to have. But what are you going to do about it as far as transportation infrastructure? Right. So I, I think that that population goal kind of gets divvied up into other places that are probably better representative rather than just saying, okay, your population is growing. Great fact, great problem to have. What are you going to do about the transportation issues that come with it or the land use issues that come with it? So I, I would propose that we um, split population up into other areas depending on what our numbers are telling us. Yeah. I, actually, and a lot of it already is. I yeah. think, I think sure that we can do that. Um, looking ahead, I'm now on page 32 of the workbook where you have inserted three of the policies under goal one into the land use part. And I don't agree with putting them in land use, although I know under other communities have. For example, policy one, um, Greater Run should be marketed as a viable location for retirees due to its prior. Uh, Prime location and so forth. I mean, that's more of an economic development no, item than a land use item. Yeah. 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 So I would rearrange it a little bit, but I think we could probably successfully right. reassign this to other places. Mm -hmm. um, if for some reason, we run into something that we can't, like, then, then we always have the option of going back to right. a population goal. Yeah. But definitely add education. I think where it gets trickier is under the old plan, we had a community facilities goal. Community facilities is a very broad topic. It includes a lot of things, not I mean, all forms of infrastructure, and then all the services that go beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, just off the cuff, I'm thinking following the pattern in the common community vision list, where we have transportation and public safety listed separately. I think we'll have enough items to list under those that they warrant being their own goal statement right. and maybe at the end have something that is other community facilities and services so we can sort of lump the miscellaneous stuff together yeah. under but, that I mean, category. Yeah, and it's, it's certainly okay to have the extra goals, you know, in there. Um, um, if you, and that, that's where you can flesh, and flesh the vision out more if it's important to this community to have transportation separately, by all means, have a transportation goal. You know, th these are guidelines from DCA, so you can go beyond them for sure. You know, so so there's nothing wrong with having a transportation uh, goal or a uh, public facility goal. Um, you know, that's a uh, that can very easily be you know implemented. So. We already have economic development, um, education, we'll add a new one, housing, health and safety uh, is community wellness, so you know that goes into that very easily, housing, intergovernmental coordination, land use, 
natural resources. Uh, the goal in the comp plan right now is natural and cultural resources. So that it's actually uh, cultural resources is not mentioned in the community vision, but it is in that comprehensive plan. So you know maybe you leave that goal and kind of modify it a little bit to include the wording from the new um, quality of life. Um, you know that can be an extra goal. Um, it's, it's very general, so maybe it's not a goal to put in the comprehensive plan. But in many ways, it could fit under community wellness. It could fit under community wellness very well, right. So that would not be a separate goal, but a, a sub, subsection to it. Um, transportation, utilities, and infrastructure. So transportation could be its own goal very easily in the comp plan. Um, you know, why, why, don't, why don't we... Uh, call com call community infrastructure a goal, and then all those things could find a home there, which would be housing, uh, our, our our transportation. I think what we streets and you know, I think all those we'll things to being is you know, community facilities is a very broad topic, right? And all of those things together is going to make that a very long. Section. Um, it might be better to break some of it out. Transportation, particularly, since yeah, we are an MPO, I mean, we need to at least, I think, have some references there. We need to get along with transportation planning and all the other things that we're doing transportation wise now that we were not doing 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, and community facilities, I mean, is, uh, is very broad because that also. In a lot of communities, they put um, recreation facilities in there. Um, you know, so Libraries. so it does get quite expansive. So if you want to break some of them out, I think it makes it a little bit easier to follow it with issues and policies. Um, I, I have a question about Parks and Rec. Yeah. Um, Parks and Rec has become its own institution about the same time as the comprehensive plan was written, and. They're a community resource and a quality of life thing, and the county commission allocates SPLOS dollars to them, um, and and their funding is through their own millage. So how closely do they have to follow, this is actually a question, how closely do they have to follow what's in the comprehensive plan? The comprehensive plan in itself is a guiding document. So honestly, nobody has to follow it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a recommendation, it's not a law. Um, once something, if they have projects that they would like to apply grants for, uh, then those projects should be in the comprehensive plan, and DCA and the other agencies also evaluate grants how closely they follow the comprehensive plan. So it would be helpful if Parks and Rec had a section in there, so if they wanted to apply for grant funding, right. and then they could say, this is this is the thing that we're doing in the comprehensive plan that that's supporting. Yeah, Correct. yeah, and, and there are several places where you can put it under. You know, you can put it under natural resources, you can put it under economic development, depending on what the project is. You can put it under quality of life or community wellness, or under community facilities, or give it its own goal. I believe what she was saying earlier, that's the importance of making it a little bit more broad than what it currently is, where it's a little bit more specific and a little bit more detailed. If you make it a little broader, it allows you to have the flexibility of reaching out there and getting maybe something used, Parks and Rec, for example. If you've got Parks and Rec and you've got something that, that if you drill it down and it's so specific that you can't reach over here and do this, if it's a little broader, then it's easier to reach over and get it and get the grant funding to do a particular project. But if I'm hearing you correctly, is that you're saying that what we currently have is just a little bit too tight? Uh, the community, some of the community vision goal statements on page 10 and 11, these I think can be worked very well into okay. the goals that are in a comprehensive plan. They are broad enough, yes. Yeah. I think at this point we're trying to make sure we cover the topic areas that we want right. to cover. Right, right. So, population at this point.
point we're going to eliminate as a goal and kind of move everything that's under population into the respective other topic areas where they will fit. And then we'll have a housing goal, economic development, natural and cultural resources, land use, community facilities, which can include recreation, parks and rec, um, intergovernmental coordination, community wellness, which is quality of life, um, and health and safety. Safety, actually, health and safety. Safety usually goes, you know, 911 or EMS or any of those usually go under community facilities and services. You know, so uh, that's where the new content and the new format kind of have to be married. Um, and then we'll have education and transportation as, as two new goals that we're taking out of, out of the community vision element. Well, and also I think I like the idea of having utilities and infrastructure maybe being the same as transportation over some of that. Yeah. I mean, for now, maybe we can put them under community facilities, and if we find that we have too many, we can always separate them out, okay. if that works. Julie, the same for technology. We can almost split technology up between economic development and community facilities, depending on what you're talking about. You can cover that area. And that was a, our previous plan had a technology component. It didn't get rolled over. I think it probably was going to stay and we left out. But I think that could be very, very well split up between economic development and community facilities in terms of that technology portion. Where do you see technology? It's in the old plan. Oh, okay. Goal, goal nine was, I think, transportation. Goal 10 was technology. Okay. But I do bring up, and again, to me, that was one thing where you know, Gretchen's point, the CCV document doesn't really include Parks and Rec because they were updating their plan when Corey and Todd were making that document. So that's something to be aware of. But also, you know, in animal welfare, are you proposing that maybe fits under community wellness? Is that a wellness issue? Safety issue for certain. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's animal cruelty and there's public safety. So you kind of have these two. To me, those are the components that have some action on accounting, in other words. Oh, as a safety component and then an animal cruelty component. Right, and those those could very well be addressed under issues and opportunities. Okay. You know, uh, maybe incidents of animal cruelty or uh, issues that you have in the county and the opportunity would be, you know, to address them through code enforcement or uh, appropriate revisions in the zoning ordinance or, or some other, some other, um, you know, so there, there you get into a lot of detail again. Sure. You know, it's it's a subcontext of um, public safety, uh, which then be would be a community service. Just seem to be one of those areas where probably should have reflected in 2006, but certainly with you know the amount of attention it's received with our own animal control facilities and right. what is being done in the community is not only publicly but privately that. There's a section of the community that we're just not representing that I think we should. So okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll write that down and we'll make sure we'll bring that into the appropriate spots as, as we drill down a little bit further into the details and the content. So definitely keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, so, so right now, and technology would be then part of economic development, yeah. part of, so that, that can get, those can get, um, divided into all. Okay, so so then we have the, the goals, housing, economic development, natural and cultural resources. Do you want to split that one up into two goals? I was going to say that class it leads together, but it become bigger and bigger. I think it's probably be very stable. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's certainly, uh, especially if there's a lot of interest in that. You know, then I, I would suggest that that, that that be done. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I, I'm for brevity rather than kind of bringing things out, but I, I think both could easily be their own section. Okay. All right, so we'll have housing, economic development, natural resources, cultural resources, land use, community facilities and services, 
intergovernmental coordination, community wellness, education, and transportation. Those, those would be the goals. And, uh, not necessarily in that order. Not necessarily in that order, right. I mean, it would, you know, we would put the transportation probably right behind community facilities. And, um, Matt, please don't take this in a discussion on which is more important. <laughs> <laughs> These are not ranked in order of priority. <laughs> they are all equal priority to diverse uh, parts of the population. So, <laughs> Every, everybody has their own. Yeah. Yeah. And just like she says, I think education and transportation and then community facilities. So, if someone who's looking down the list is going to look for those, and I think it would be good to have them group together. Yeah, they can be moved, yeah. you know, around. That, that is absolutely no, no worries. So, right now I'm just trying to get a hold of. Okay. And then what we can do is definitely for the new goals, we'll take the wording out of the community vision and put that under the new goals. And um, then we can also marry the wording out of the new goals with the new goals to make sure everything is covered. Yeah. I think there's a lot of redundancy, but the yeah. categories. Yeah. So if, if that works with everybody, um, then we can, we can move on.